The power levels in Dragon Ball Super, specifically the gods, there's a question that everybody is debating right now, and that's if you take one of our favorite characters, Beerus, the god of destruction that was introduced at the start of the series, and you pit him against one of the most recent powerful characters introduced in the story, Jiren, how would they rank up? Is Jiren stronger than Beerus? Can this chapter answer that major question? What does this chapter do exactly? So one thing chapter 29 of Dragon Ball Super does is it starts to address power levels. And I'm talking about the power levels of the gods of destructions. And it does not give us a definitive answer. However, at the very least, it progresses the discussion. According to the manga, Beerus, the hairless cat, and Kitella, the maniacal mouse, are the two strongest gods of destructions. But wait, I want you to tread slowly on that thought, on that statement, because a lot of people are making it that Beerus and Kitella are the strongest. There is no definitive answer just yet, because while the majority of the gods of destructions were there, just sustaining major damage looking like they were about to go unconscious some of them you still had vermood or belmod there on the ground and it looked like dude could go at it with both of them i mean he didn't look like he took any damage at all and he just wanted to stay out of this fight like a smart person would do because all these crazy dudes are just going at it and they all have so much power so why don't I just sort of stick out of this, stay out of this, and wait for them to kind of reduce their own power levels so that maybe in the end I could grab the almighty W. So I want you guys to tread slowly on the whole Beerus and Kitella are the strongest gods because Vermood slash Belmod is still a part of that discussion in my opinion. Is he stronger than Beerus or Kitella? I don't know. However, he is definitely top three. Mickey D's represent was up to something. Now, I want to talk about the differences between the manga and the anime because when we talk about Jiren, we just saw Jiren displaying crazy power in the anime and a lot of people are now talking about Jiren and where does he stand amongst the gods of destructions? Could he take out the strongest God of Destruction, Beerus. Is Beerus even the strongest God of Destruction? So is Jiren stronger than all the gods? Let's take some time to see where we stand and let's try to answer, at the very least, the majority of these questions. We know this for a fact that the hierarchy amongst the mortals is pretty similar in the manga and the anime, and that's that Jiren stands above all of them, like it surpasses them by far. Like every single one that follows is kind of like way in the back. Okay, that's maybe a little bit of an exaggeration. So Ultra Instinct Goku is pretty close to Jiren, I want to say, somewhere just a little bit under him. And the reason I say that is because, okay, like he was able to compete with Jiren. But the reason why I still consider Goku way under Jiren is because that's only a temporary power. We don't know if Goku's going to attain Ultra Instinct permanently. We don't know when it's going to happen. So he's kind of behind Jiren, right? You want to throw Topo somewhere under him, maybe Hit, and then you could say Vegeta, right? I think Vegeta is weaker than both Topo and Hit. When we take a look at the manga, it's pretty similar. The only difference I can say is that Vegeta is much closer to Goku in the manga, right? Because they both have completed Super Saiyan Blue. And then maybe you could say Topo is closer to being to Jiren than Goku, that's something you could say, but at the same time, it was a comedy gag where Topo kicked Goku in the nuts. I don't want people to think that just because they threw in that comedy gag that Topo, you know, defeated Goku in the fight, kicking him in the nuts, that if it really got serious and they really went all out 100%, that Goku would lose. We don't know. I'm gonna put them pretty close to each other regardless. Yeah, I think Kale's got potential as well, but she's not a part of the discussion, and if anybody says Rip Rian, I'm gonna go off, all right? Now, there is a potential mortal that's stronger than all of them, and as you get, okay, let me just stop. Let me let me just stop trolling for a second, guys. I'm a joke sometimes. I need to be serious. Now, comparing Jiren's power in the anime and the manga, it's a little bit difficult because here's the thing. In the manga, in the recent chapter, it was stated that Jiren is stronger than the God of Destruction in his own universe. And we know that Vermouth is top three. We don't know where Vermouth ranks amongst the three. We don't know if he's stronger than Beers. We don't know if he's stronger than Kitel. We don't know if he's weaker than them. But the fact that Jiren's stronger than Vermood means that Jiren is possibly like competing with Beerus and Kitella in power, which is crazy. He is a part of the stronger, like of the Gods of Destruction. Meaning if you put Jiren right now with the Gods of Destructions, he would be top three, top four, right? 
Um, in fact, he might even be stronger than Beerus and Kitello. We just don't know. When taking a look at Jiren's power in the anime, very similar. He's drastically stronger than all the other mortals, and while Topo's probably closer to him in the anime, he still stands above him easily. When we compare him to the gods, I'm gonna have to take a leap forward and say that, you know, if you line Jiren up with all the gods of destructions, he would be amongst the stronger of the individuals, meaning I believe it's even a possibility that in the anime, while it has not been explicitly stated, Jiren is also stronger than Vermood slash Belmod, meaning that this is something that, you know, the creator Akira Toriyama wants to be, you know, like it, he wants it to be a thing where Jiren's stronger than the Universe 11 God of Destruction. It has not been stated 100%, but just look at the way Vermood slash Belmod talks about Jiren. He talks about him as if he could kick his ass in a fight. In fact, when Jiren's going off on the deep end, look at the Gods of Destruction's reactions. They are nervous about his power. Beerus is nervous about his power, which means that I think that Beerus is threatened by Jiren. He doesn't know if he'd win a fight against him. It'd be very close, and it makes sense because when you look at the manga, Beerus, Kitella, Vermood, or Slash Belmod, they're top three, right? When you look at the anime, the hierarchy is probably the same, and Jiren is pretty much either on Vermood slash Belmont's level in the anime or more powerful than him. So Jiren's power in the anime, manga, very, very similar. There wasn't a confirmation in the anime like there was in the manga. However, if everything else is the same, we could fill in the dots. Akira Toriyama wants Jiren to be amongst the stronger, amongst the, the Gods of Destruction's discussion when it comes to power levels. In fact, I think Toriyama wants Jiren to be stronger than the God of Destruction in his universe. And you'll, don't be surprised within the next few weeks episodes or when Jiren gets that rematch with Goku and fights him again that this is stated and maybe that's how they want to build it up. Again, Toei's writing has been just everywhere. So I'm not surprised that the anime isn't as solid and consistent as the manga, even when it comes to power levels, of course. And th that goes without saying, right? Like Vegeta ain't even a part of the discussion when comparing to Goku, which is really messed up. Like I would not be surprised if Vegeta gets Ultra Instinct in the manga, whereas he, by the way, did not get it in the anime. And I don't see that happening anytime in the foreseeable future. <laughs> Now let's get into the meat of the question. Is this pale ass ET looking motherfucker, is he stronger than Beerus? I'm gonna have to say, maybe. I think it's a maybe, and I think that if you wanna really like stretch this out a little bit, I'm gonna say yes. And the reason I'm gonna say yes is because, listen man, just look at the manga. Just look at how they were all fighting. Look at how dominant Vermood was at the beginning of the fight. And while he was there on the ground, it does seem like he had some kind of strategy and effect. He didn't even really take much damage. He took less damage than Beerus and Kitella, despite the fact that they were the last ones really going at it. So he is top three, and it isn't 100% stated where the gods really rank in terms of power, even in the manga. Now, we could assume Beerus and Kitella are like the top two, but we can't really say whether or not Vermood falls into that discussion of top two as well. We could assume they're all kind of like, all three of them are just really close. That's the only thing we can really say about the manga. And all that I'm gathering is that Akira Toriyama wants Jiren to be more dominant than the God of Destruction in his universe. He wants him to be stronger than the God of Destruction in his universe, despite the fact that it hasn't been explicitly stated in the anime. So if that's already like a thing and Beerus is there getting shook up, you know, at the power Jiren was displaying, I have a feeling Beerus is not all that confident about a fight between him and Jiren, and confidence is huge in a fight. There is a chance that if those two went at it, Jiren would have enough power to edge Beerus out, and here's the thing, Beerus has been stated to not fully have mastered the Ultra Instinct. Whereas Goku displayed some kind of mastery of that technique in the fight, although I believe it is temporary, that power was not outmatching Jiren. Jiren was competing and getting stronger himself, which, by the way, leads me to believe that he has some kind of version of the Ultra Instinct. So putting everything together, I think that Jiren competing with a power that kind of got Beerus Uzi, Beerus is not all that confident seeing Jiren fight, and the fact that, you know, I believe Toriyama wants Jiren to rank amongst the stronger of the Gods of Destruction, I'm gonna have to go off on the deep end and say, yes, 
I believe Beerus would get beat up by Jiren, and Jiren is indeed stronger than every single god of destruction, which kind of goes in line with the statement, the mortal stronger than even the gods of destructions, right? In the anime, we know for a fact they're referring to Jiren. I'm going to have to say that Jiren, with some kind of version of the Ultra Instinct and those power impact blasts, I think that this mortal, who possibly comes from one of the extinct universes, who could easily be a god of destruction in his universe, of course, in the manga he stated to be stronger than the god of destruction. Yeah, I think he's stronger than Beerus. I'm going to have to say, yes, I believe so. Chapter 29 didn't explicitly state that. I know people want to say, well, Beerus and Kitel are the strongest of the gods. I'm not a part of that camp. I think all three of them are really close, and Jiren is probably just barely stronger than all three of them, but he is. What do you guys think, though? Wouldn't it be really awesome to actually get a fight between Jiren and Beerus? I doubt it'll ever happen. I doubt Toye will ever treat us to something that good. At most, because this is all speculation, by the way, right? At most, all they're going to do is actually confirm my thoughts in this video. I really doubt we'll ever get to see them fight. And the only true, true way to know 100% if someone's stronger than someone else is just 